David in Oakland, you're on KJO. Yeah, hello. Yeah, I was just um, I just had a question about uh, something you said last hour. You, were, you, were, you that was a great explanation about uh, uh, the nuclear power plants and how um, uh, spent fuel rods are made. And you know, I was going to ask that question. You know, and what's the byproducts mm -hmm. when they come out? And you know, there was a couple times when I wanted to, you know, call on the air when I when I hear you say that. You know, spent fuel rods are, you know, they're they're harmless. They're you know they're they're safe to handle and all that. When I've read, you know, way in the past that you know that nu that spent uh, fuel rods from nuclear power plants are they're supposed to be like dangerously radioactive. And mm -hmm. I, just, I just read from a, uh, another source that well, David, they are dangerously radioactive when they first come out. The same way, for instance, that once you start a fire in your fireplace with innocent blocks of firewood, it becomes very dangerous, doesn't it? Yes. Have you ever put your face right up to a few inches of a roaring fire and felt the radiation? Right. Well, spent fuel rods are ra radioactive in that way. Well, I but mean, the, like let me finish the sentence so you understand some of the truth, for instance, of the propaganda you read. They're dangerous because there is a radioactive substance in them that is easily taken out, you see. Once you take them out, 98% of that fuel rod is perfectly normal uranium, okay, with some plutonium in it, which is good fuel for another nuclear reactor, neither of which are poisonous for you to handle or dangerous to put in your pocket, okay? Right. Well, I mean, I mean but you... <laughs> I mean, you make it sound like, well, it's just like putting your, you know, face to a, to a fireplace. It is, just like, it, that's what radioactivity, don't you realize that the heat you feel from a fireplace is called radiation? It's, it is radiation uh, at a lower frequency than the radiation you'd get from gamma rays, for instance, from a radioactive source. The radiation is the same no matter what the source happens to be, whether it's what's in your body, you know, you, are you aware of the fact that you are radioactive with potassium forty? Uh, I suppose so. No, you don't I suppose mean, so. It's, David, it's a fact. You see, the scare, th the, the, you know, the scare fear mongers who told you the other stories didn't tell you this story, did they? Well, I suppose that some of what they say are true. Also, I mean, you mentioned. Well, well why bother with some? Let's just find out what is true and what isn't. Okay. These are very the easily product. established facts. You, I mean, even the point where you can go do some of the experiments to prove it. Well, so why don't we just get to the facts, so you don't have to just you know, you know just uh, uh, agonize over what you think are the uh, you, you've been told. Huh? Well, you can you can read about that. I mean, I know you can read, about... but David, David, in the 15th century. The church leaders in Northern Europe convinced a lot of nice people like you that potatoes were poisonous and sinful. And you know, a lot of thinking, intelligent people who were ignorant of the facts believed it for a century or more. You know what, you know what changed their mind, David? A mini ice age set in where temperatures were so cold nothing else would grow and in order to survive and not starve to death they discovered that potatoes that mature under the ground could save them and all of a sudden that everybody loved potatoes. Yeah, well, I'm now sure, you see I'm the same sure thing is happening the same thing too. is happening with nuclear. There's a whole generation of folks, perfectly innocent, well meaning folks like you, who bought the propaganda hook, line, and sinker. You can read it. As, you can read it. You see, as you said, you can read it. As you said, does that doesn't make it true? See, well, it does if it's coming from respectable sources. Well, give me that respectable source. Respectable sources that that I've heard. Well, give me read. that respectable media, source, David. I mean, people uh, from the uh, media, from an encyclopedia uh, book I read. Yeah, but I mean, you can read. You can read thousands of articles and statements by the ignorant. And I'm telling you, you, you that, fell that, for it. That, that but that David, let me like give you a basic minute. fact. Did anybody tell you that normal uranium is, and normal uranium is harmless that you can put it in your pocket? Did anybody ever tell you that? I believe that. I believe it's so. Well, if you I mean, believe I, that, then why are you agonizing plan. over yeah, the fact that a fuel rod for a nuclear power plant is normal uranium? If you take the toxic stuffs out, 
it is back to normal uranium. So yeah, what are you agonizing over? If you over? take this toxic stuff, uh, I think what the people are talking about is just as it comes out of a reactor, the, the things that uh, that you don't mention, that you don't mention the C. Well, it comes out of the reactor thing. like it comes, David. The, it comes out of a reactor like a hot piece of firewood comes out of a fireplace. But these, you don't go up and put your hands on it, David, unless you're stupid. Well, then how, David, what, unless what, you're what, stupid, what, what, you don't get harmed. You don't put your hands on it. You see. What, what, when it comes out of the reactor, it is taken by a machine and put into a cask where it's not radiating anybody, and it's left there until it cools down. See, you know, molten steel in a steel mill, David, will burn your toes off if you're dumb enough to go up and stick your toes into the molten steel. That's right, but we're not just talking about a regular fire or something that... Yes, you are. You're talking about something that is no more dangerous than a fire. Well, don't All radiation don't does to you is damage mean, cells in your body. You see, it doesn't infect just, uh, you with the evil of the devil, David. It doesn't give you the the you know the attributes of the devil. It just simply destroys some cells in your body the same way a burn does. You see? Didn't you know that? I suppose it does. You just don't. Well, then what what danger do you imagine beyond that, David? And that that that's probably not the case. I mean, like you said, some of the isotopes that come from these spent fuel rods, they get into certain organs if you if you eat them or inhale them, where they where they become. But how are you going to get them unless, David? How are you going to get them unless you go over and gnaw on this solid fuel rod? Yeah, like well, no like, one, like no the one. like the greatest idiot of the world, which you can't do, by the way. You couldn't even bite into it. But how do you get them in your body unless you go eat them? Well, normally you wouldn't unless there was some sort well, of... Well, normally, how do you imagine... David, how do you imagine you'd ever get them in your body? Tell me. Unless there was some accident that released these isotopes in the air or, or something like... How, how like does it get released? Or, David, the well, only thing that is getting released in the air is the radioactivity from coal-burning plants that the idiots who wrote the stories for you forced the world to use and put in the atmosphere. Well, surely, did they, ever, did they ever tell you what they were doing behind your back, David? Yeah, but you know that isotopes that come from you spent fuel rods don't normally come from, from uh, burning uh, coal, or do they? I mean, are you telling David, me that? David, 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 did you, didn't you listen to it? Just look, for God's sakes, there is a very readable report posted on my webpage from the Oak Ridge National Laboratory deliberately written for lay people go read it and understand that it's exactly the same thing uranium and thorium and radioactive material is the same whether it comes out of a coal burning plant whether it is put on the ground by that's somebody with a spent fuel rod and you hey, David you've been taken 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 royally and you refuse to even think of any other possibility. I can't help you other than give you the facts.